Hello everyone and welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to test the GraphQL in the Postman. So let's begin. Let's first understand what is GraphQL. So GraphQL is a new way of designing the APIs which lets the developer fetch exactly the data they need from the server in a single request. And in contrast, we talk about the REST APIs which often requires multiple requests to get all the data an application needs. So based on this, here are some key benefits of the GraphQL. They are efficient because it reduces the number of the requests we are sending in order to fetch the data which we need. Secondly, they are flexible because developer can specify exactly the data they need, which can help to avoid overfetching or underfetching the data. Third thing is the maintainability. The schema that defines the data available through a GraphQL API is self-documenting which can make it easier for developers to understand and use the API. So these are the few core benefits of the GraphQL and this is how it is different from the REST API. Now let's go to the Postman and see how we can test this one. So let me go to the Postman here and so far what we have learned is that we know how we can test the REST APIs or the SOAP APIs now this time. Let's see how we can work with the GraphQL. So uh, before that, let me open the browser. Let's find some dummy GraphQL APIs. So just go here and type graph GraphQL test API. And this is the first link you need to click. And here, just scroll down a bit, you find a different dummy APIs for the testing purpose. So Let's go with this countries API. So get country course. So try it out here. So let me show you how this GraphQL works here. And so this is a URL. And here you need to send a query. So based on the query, what exactly you want, you send the query accordingly, right? So let me show you how it works. So let me open in this one. And so we will be sending a query. So here you see that we have the continents, country, countries, and based on that, we have the queries. So we can write the query exactly whatever we need. So here, just click on the query here. So you will see that we are asking for the country name, capital, currency. So that's what we are getting from the server. So if I remove this part from here, so I'm, you know, basically, so let me remove this part of the code from here. Just remove this part. Add a bracket. And, and now let's run this one. So you see that we have exactly got the data what we requested for here in the query, right? So that's why it is different from the REST API. Now using this one, uh, let me go here. So this is the URL. So let me copy this one from here. And now go to the postman here. Simply go to the new. And here you will find the GraphQL. Just click on this one. And provide the URL here. And you see that this is the area for the query. So we need to query for our country. Right. And for example, if I remove this part from the query so 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 let me go back here so that we can copy the query we created here so let me copy this one and let me go back here and provide the query so yep so basically uh, we need a query here So basically, we don't need this stuff from here. And we don't need AWS region as well. We don't need currency or currencies. And the code of the country is basically, if we go here, it's the BR here. So let me copy this one. And let me go back and provide this one. And now, just send a query. So you see that the query is successful here and we got the status 400 
but it says some error id cannot represent a non string or integer value br so this means that we need to provide this value in the code so that it should consider it as a string value so now we get a country capital is brasilia and the code is br right and now once we have executed this query now we are very much simple simply go to the scripts here and write the test here so simply test query is successful so simply pm.test and this is a function and function say that pm.response to be okay right and just run this again and here in the test we will see our test is passed because query is executing successfully and using this one uh, for example if we want to test that response is below 200 so this is a time so go with here so response to have a response time below 200 this is again really simple run this one and again the response is below 200 you can see that this is the time we are getting and that's why this test is also getting passed and now let me show you let's go with the you know test response has a specific property so response dot data so if i go to the response so response dot data dot country so inside the data we have country and the country should have a property called capital and the capital should be this one and now run this one and so this property has passed but this second test case got failed where we are asking that the response time should be less than 200 milliseconds and here you can see that the response time is more than 200 milliseconds that's why it's got failed here but the third one is getting passed and if i go here and change it some other value and let's see what happens so this time this particular test code failed and it says that to have a property called capital of this one but got this one so that's why it got failed so in this way you can test the graph ql in the postman thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial